Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I have a very special video for you because I went to Nantucket Island to visit my daughter Angelina who was working there for the entire summer. We got there at noon and we stayed until past nine o'clock at night. We got to hang out with our girl and we had such a great day on the island. You know I had to check out the thrift scene while I was at Nantucket and luckily Angelina had already been to the thrift store that she took me to. We didn't take our car over on the ferry so it was nice that we were able to walk to this thrift store and it did not disappoint. And if you spend any time shopping on Nantucket Island, you know how expensive it is. So walking through a thrift store with really reasonably priced items was a breath of fresh air. Don't get me wrong, I really love all those shops, but it was really nice to be able to just go into a thrift store. Angie found some great stuff. I found some wonderful items to sell online. And of course we did some shopping at the other stores too. So I have a quick little vlog from that day. I didn't get a ton of footage because I was really just trying to enjoy my time with Angie, but I'll show you a couple of the sites on Nantucket and then we'll meet back here and I'll show you everything that I got at the hospital thrift store, as well as a couple things that I did not thrift. I will be heading back to Martha's Vineyard in a couple of weeks. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss an upload. I will be sharing all of my thrift adventures this summer as I thrift across New England and take you with me. Let's jump back and we'll check out my day on Nantucket. <laughs> Angelina was on the hunt for something to wear for the 4th of July, so we stopped in this little dress shop called Cativo. It was absolutely adorable. So many pretty little feminine dresses and skirt sets, a lot of Love Shack Fancy, and a lot of pretty boutique items. She tried on a couple things that I, of course, thought looked adorable, um, but she didn't find anything that she loved, and the prices were definitely steep, especially the Love Shack Fancy stuff. Love this Nantucket bag. But it was really fun checking things out and getting some style ideas. I loved this dress, um, but we did not pick anything up here, but it was a really fun stop. But Angelina told me about a thrift store. It's called Hospital Thrift here on the island, so we are going to make our way there. I love this one piece. It's so classic. It's really beautiful. Oh, By Somersault. Love that. And then, and then these pants. Kind of fun. Those are fun. For a nice yes. Yeah. <laughs> Vintage Laura Ashley, so cute. How much is that? This is six bucks, but I don't, I don't know. If I, I usually lose wristlets, so I don't know if it would be. I think this is more of the premium room. Such cute things in here. Such a great day, heading to the ferry now. We get about 14 minutes and then we miss it. <laughs> we don't want to miss it. Thank you. 
So I highly recommend the hospital thrift shop on Nantucket. They do have very limited hours, so be sure to go online to make sure that they're going to be open the time that you're there. I was psyched because a lot of thrift stores on the Cape are closed on Mondays, and this particular store was open on Monday, and I was really excited about that, so we timed it out great. What's cool about the shop is it's an actual house, so you get to walk from room to room. It almost feels like an estate sale. They did have a couple of rooms with house housewares and hard goods. If that's what you're into, it wasn't all clothing. We did not go into those rooms if I was alone. I definitely would have spent more time and gotten more footage. Maybe next time I go, I'll try to sneak in solo and get more footage for you, but it was definitely worth the visit and the prices were really reasonable in my opinion. So as you saw in the video, Angelina got a really beautiful black bathing suit by Somersault and I've been eyeing this brand lately because they recently did a collaboration with LL Bean and they have this beautiful one piece bathing suit that I believe is brown on top and black on the bottom. Um, it's sold out in my size, but I've been paying attention to this brand. It's really never been on my radar. So when Angelina found a bathing suit from them, I was really excited to see that. It was beautiful quality. I love a classic black one piece bathing suit. So I haven't heard if Angie loves it or not. I'm sure she's gonna look beautiful in it. She also bought those really fun navy blue patterned wide leg pants. And I feel terrible because she wanted an outfit for the 4th of July and we had gone into that shop. Oh, I wanna talk about that shop we went into. It was all Love Shack Fancy or Love Shack Fancy inspired. It was either the actual brand or it was brands that looked like Love Shack Fancy. And that place was hopping. There were so many young girls or young women at the register buying these Love Shack Fancy ensembles um, you know, to the tune of three to $600. Like it was nothing, it was crazy. And I definitely get excited when I find Love Shack Fancy, but I've recently started to see it show up at TJ Maxx. So I don't know that it is as popular as it may have been at one point, but it is very popular on Nantucket Island. I didn't see as much Lily Pulitzer. That is not a brand that is super strong, although I did find a piece from Lily Pulitzer that I did like and I did pick up at that thrift store. So you still see it. But as far as the younger generation goes, Angelina said it's all about Love Shack Fancy this summer. She is living her best life there. She's working really hard. She's in the service industry and she's boarding at the place where she's working. So she's working like 50 plus hours a week, but she loves the people she works with. She's learning a lot and she's able to live on Nantucket for basically for free for the summer. Nightlife is expensive, restaurants, bars are expensive, uh, but she's learning to budget her money and she's having an awesome time. So we look forward to going back with the boys probably in August to visit her again and spend a couple nights there. The navy blue pants that she bought, I think she wanted to go with this top. This, I found this, it was Urban Outfitters. It was $6 and it's like a one shoulder thing, but then it's got this band that must tie. If I can find a stock, a stock photo, I will put it up. So we were a little confused when we first saw it, but it's actually just a one shoulder thing. And then it's got this stretchy wide band that ties around. But sadly, when I got home and was looking through my bag, I realized that this was still in my bag. It was pushed to the bottom of the bag. So she grabbed her bathing suit and she grabbed the navy blue pants, but she left this behind. I felt bad about that because I'm sure she wanted it for the 4th and I'm filming this on July 5th. So I wonder what she ended up wearing. She had the night off, so she was super excited and wanted to find a great outfit. Speaking of Love Shack Fancy, the thing that I think I am most excited about that I found at, the th at this thrift store is this vintage Laura Ashley floral skirt. I mean, this really reminds me of Love Shack Fancy. This is a very beautiful, like, cottagecore inspired 90s skirt and I love that it's on the shorter side. Although maxi dresses are probably more popular right now, Angie was definitely looking for longer skirts. And as you were walking through the streets of Nantucket, it's really fun to people watch. The fashion is really fun, very nautical, beach inspired, coastal grandma living at its best on Nantucket Island. Absolutely beautiful. The shops are just gorgeous. But I was really excited about this. The price tag isn't on this. I probably paid about six. I know I spent $85 in total for everything, including the stuff that Angie got. But I have seen a lot of sold comps on Laura Ashley skirts, maxi and on the shorter side between $40 and $60. So I'm probably gonna list this for $59 um, and then we'll see how it does. It's really cute, stretch waistband. It's in beautiful condition. I love the colors. They're a little bit more muted. I would say that more of the 
Love Shack Fancy Styles, a lot of pinks, brighter colors. Uh, this is a little bit more subdued, more my lane, but I absolutely love it. I recently sold a Laura Ashley maxi skirt, I believe, on eBay, and I think it sold for like $40. Made in Great Britain, this is 100% cotton, and there it is, there's the tag. So pretty. And it's medium, that's what I meant to say. Really pretty, I'm excited to get that listed. Next up, I'll share with you the Lily Pulitzer sweater that I bought. And the comps aren't great on this. I did not look up comps before I left. Tisk tisk, Lori, I should always look up comps when I'm not sure, especially because I think I spent like 20 or $25 on this. This is a beautiful gold cardigan from Lily Pulitzer, not their typical bright patterned norm. Um, it's got like some fringe at the bottom. Again, this is more my style. It's a beautiful like cream color, but it's got champagne and gold um, metallic thread throughout. So you can see the little pattern here at the bottom. It's really beautiful. It's an extra small Lily Pulitzer cardigan sweater. It retails for $128. A lot of people have this new with tag listed for about $98, $99. I saw some over $100 listed. But the comps, I saw anywhere from $10, yes, $10 for this sweater all the way up to like $65, $70. Considering that I paid 25, I will probably list this for 59. Do you pick up Lily Pulitzer? Let me know in the comments if that's a brand that does well for you. I feel like this is the time of year that I like to list Lily Pulitzer and Vineyard Vines. Obviously there's a ton of it in my area, especially Vineyard Vines. Um, this time of year on Cape Cod, on Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket Island, you're gonna see all these brands. Love Shack Fancy was new for me in the sense that it wasn't on my radar as a huge brand on the island. Maybe it's just a big brand with Angie and her friends. So I'm hoping to get between 38 and $50 for this sweater. This was one of the first things I picked up and I was really happy with this because we also went into a shop. Oh, you saw Angie with that really cute, it was like a dusty purple, like a smoky purple Nantucket sweatshirt. And then I went back to the same store and I got a sweatshirt, which I'll show you. My sweatshirt was a champion, it was $84. Angelina's sweatshirt was 72, I believe. So yeah, really expensive. I also think that's why whenever I find Martha's Vineyard Nantucket or Cape Cod sweatshirts, they sell pretty quickly for between $30 and $38 because when you're on vacation in these spots, you're paying a lot more for a lot of these types of, you know, souvenir type sweatshirts. I'm pretty excited about this sweatshirt. It's Vineyard Vines, but it has the ACK, the A-C-K, which is for Nantucket Island. And you see a lot of ACK wear while you're down on the island. And this is an extra large. It's like a nice soft gray with a little kind of collegiate collar ribbed and it also has that on the cuff as well. I think this is going to do very well because it's an extra large, nice and oversized soft for any Nantucket fans or Vineyard Vine fans or both. I'm probably gonna list this for about $48. These types of sweatshirts retail at Vineyard Vines for between like $89 and $120, depending. The resale value is not what it used to be for Vineyard Vines, but you never know. I think because this is specific to a location, I think it might do well, and because it's an extra large. So we'll see how this does. It's in great condition, really soft, oversized Vineyard Vines sweatshirt. Someone's gonna live in the sweatshirt and really enjoy it. Okay, and last up, as far as thrifted items go, um, I picked up this pair of Faraday sh shorts. Angelina was kind of on the fence whether or not she thought she would wear them. So I bought them because they were new with tag, but I did pay $20 for these. They did have that room with premium items and a lot of the items were new with tag or just more popular brands. Both the Lily Pulitzer sweater and these Faraday shorts were in that room. So I paid up for them. Probably not gonna make a ton of money on this. I would say that this shopping trip was more about the experience for me and something to come back and share with you. I was more excited to just bring home a few pieces from this thrift store to give you an idea of the types of thing that they had in there. These do retail for $98 and people have these listed for $98, but the comps are more in that 30 to $60 range, I would say. Um, they are new with tag, they're a size 28, and this is the sun-washed denim short, and this is in dull gold. I love the color on these shorts. And 28 is a great size. 
So I will probably list these for 50% off the $98. So we'll see how they do. They are new with tag. That wraps up everything that I got at the hospital thrift in Nantucket. There were a lot of little nooks and crannies to this house. I feel like I could have spent a lot of time there. Let me know in the comments if you've ever been to the hospital thrift store on Nantucket Island, or if there's another spot on the island that you went to that you found some great treasures. I know there are a couple other spots and I'm excited to get back there. So as I mentioned, I did get a nice cozy sweatshirt that I love. I ended up getting this Nantucket sweatshirt in an extra large, I mean, so cozy. I have to go try this on for you because I'm gonna live in this. Look who I found on my way to the bathroom. Lumpy finally got groomed. It was his first bath in like almost nine weeks since he got neutered and he was so messy. And it was the day before we went to Nantucket and his groomer, who I absolutely love, I had an appointment for later in the week and I wasn't sure if I was gonna be home for it. So I was desperate to get him in over the weekend and she took him on a Sunday night and where he gets groomed is um, in a downtown area. And so you can see the dogs getting groomed in the window, but during the day when it's light outside, it just kind of blends. But at night he was like, how much is the doggy in the window? And everybody was going by and waving to him while he was getting his bath. And he feels so much better, right? I think you lost like five pounds in fur. <laughs> You're such a cutie. All right, go play. So here is my Nantucket sweatshirt that I am obsessed with. It's so comfy. I opted to spend a little bit extra and get the Champion reverse weave. And it was also in blue and white and just so summer in New England to me. So I was really excited to get this. We also went to a really cool bookshop that featured a lot of local authors. Let me just get the name of it here for you. I'm pretty sure the shop that I went to is Mitchell's Book Corner. And if you went upstairs at this bookshop, they were featuring all of their local authors. So of course I needed to get a book from our local author, Ellen Hildebrand, who writes a lot of romance novels that take place in Nantucket. Angie said that all of her friends and she were reading Hotel Nantucket. Let me know if you've ever read anything by this author and what you thought and which book you would recommend. I'm really loving my Kindle these days, which which sadly I left on the plane coming home from Dublin. So now I am reading all of my Kindle books on my iPad. I'm waiting for Amazon Prime to um, rebuy my Kindle because I really do miss it. And they have an exchange program. You can get a discount if you turn in an old Kindle and you can double up on the sales for Prime Day. So I'm just waiting because my Kindle was relatively new and I'm so sad because I loved it so, so much. So I just bought the physical book for this since I'm in between Kindles right now. So there was another bookstore close to where we went for dinner and I ran in there and I ended up getting a new notebook. I do what are called morning pages where I journal every morning and I love to use these Loitrum 1917 books. I've actually had this color before too um, and these are about $20, between $18 and $25 depending on where you're picking them up. This particular one was just $20. So I grabbed this for my morning pages. Oh, I just realized I got blank pages. I like a dot grid. Maybe I'll save this as like a sketchbook. I didn't realize I got blank pages. Also, I love to buy readers when I'm traveling. When I went to Portugal, Portugal, I believe, I bought a pair of peepers that I love and I wear all the time. I've also, I also bought a second pair of peepers when I was in New York City. And this is a new to me brand. This is, I think it's pronounced easy peasy. Right here. I saw this beautiful like tortoise shell with like the light blue pattern. I thought these were adorable. And they come with this really nice little um, felt pouch. They're $50. I tend to buy my readers on Amazon. You know, I'll get like a three pack for $15 and those are great, but they tend to get loose on um, my ears and the, the quality just isn't as nice. Sometimes they can be a little bit heavy, but I don't mind because I keep some in my car, I keep some bedside table, they're kind of scattered all over the house. But then I have a few pairs that I take really good care of, and this is gonna fall in that category. And I love that there were some blue and it matched my little Nantucket. I felt like they were kind of beachy looking. So I'll hold them up close for you to see. 
I thought they were so pretty and they're light for summer. They're a little bit smaller than I typically get for a frame for readers, but they are incredibly comfortable. They were $50. So then I got home and I was like, is this what they cost everywhere? Or was this just like a Nantucket price? And I went online and no, they're $50. So they didn't mark them up. They're Paris. So I don't know. Let me know if you've ever worn these. I absolutely love them. Oh, there was also a dress that I ended up ordering for Angelina. We went shopping in one of the boutiques. It wasn't the Love Shack Fancy Boutique, but it was just a really nice shop. And she tried on this beautiful like celery green satin dress. I don't know where she's gonna wear it. Maybe out to dinner, out with the girls. And she loved it, but in store, I wanna say it was like $138. There wasn't a price tag on it, but all the other dresses were over $100. One of the managers thought it might have been 138, but I said, don't worry about it because the brand was Aster, A-S-T-R, which I believe you can get at Nordstrom. I looked it up online and I found the exact dress for $67. Then there was a discount code, so I saved $10 on it, so I'm shipping it to Angie, but it was half off the price in the shop. Sometimes I'm willing to pay up, like for this Nantucket sweatshirt. I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this, but for that dress, I just couldn't bring myself to spend that money when I could get a brand new dress online for cheaper. It happens when you're a bargain hunter for a living. It's really hard to accept retail sometimes, but I did pay retail for these and I don't regret it because, oh gosh, they're filthy. I don't know if you can see how dirty these are, but I have become so reliant on my readers. And so I want them to be cute and I want them to be good quality. These are both cute and good quality. So I love them. 10 out of 10 would recommend. The last thing that I brought home with me from Nantucket was this adorable baseball hat from Cisco Brewers. We ended up at Cisco for, gosh, maybe three, three hours-ish. We had a couple drinks, we had some food. Angie got a lobster quesadilla, which was to die for. Her best friend, who she went to Barcelona with, who also went to Penn State with her, also happens to be working on Nantucket this summer. So she met us, we were dancing. There was this incredible woman who was singing. I will link her Instagram in the description. She was so good. Her covers were incredible. We absolutely loved her. Jay and Angelina disappeared for about 10 minutes and they came back and they both had hats. Angie had a Cisco sweatshirt as well. And Jay brought me this hat, which I love. I, he did such a good job picking this out. It's like a pale yellow and it's got like the Cisco Brewers right there. It says established in Nantucket on the back and then it's got the Nantucket map right here. It's so adorable. Um, I love it. I'm like, oh my gosh, what a surprise. You did such a great job with this hat. I think I have it a little too tight right now, but here's a little look at it. There is a Cisco Brewers that I've been to with my college girlfriends. I think there's one in New Bedford and maybe Fall River, but this was the OG one and it was so much fun. This is way too tight. Hold on, hold on. Let's try that again. Okay, I never know what to do with my hair on the sides. I usually tuck it behind my ears. Good job, Jay. So I have all my Nantucket gear, I have my sweatshirt, I have my hat, so I have to go back and enjoy this back on the island. But it was a great day. I highly recommend doing a day trip to Nantucket. It can be really expensive to stay there overnight. And we accomplished so much. We took an Uber to Cisco Brewers. We were able to walk all around downtown. As soon as you get off the ferry, you're right in the downtown area. And it's so busy and tricky to drive on the island because of the cobblestone roads. It's actually much more fun, I think, to be able to do it by foot. If it's your first time especially, there's plenty to explore. You can go to the Whaling Museum, there's restaurants, there's coffee shops, there's thrift stores. What more could you ask for? And the beach is right there too. So fantastic day in Nantucket. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you had fun. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me. I'll have a Martha's Vineyard video coming out soon. And I am at the start of my summer sizzle. I'm hoping to release 10 videos this month and get cooking here in the summer. Lots of fun videos coming your way this July. I'll be back soon with another one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.